finale of the programming contest. Um, uh, during those uh, matches, uh, Will will be the commentator. Uh, so, so we have more fun. And yeah, I will first tell you something about the programming contest itself. Um, we'll sit down. Uh, okay, so the contest started uh, a week ago. Uh, we sent all, all attendees of the conference, we sent you an email with uh, the information. And uh, the idea was that uh, uh, you can write code uh, which controls the movement of a snake. And uh, the snake robot program that earns the highest score in the game will win the game. Uh, so after you got the email, you went to this website, and uh, there you there was those, the instructions and the rules. Uh, I'm not going through that, but basically we uh, split the competition into two phases. The first one was the qualification uh, stage, where you could write the code, uh, test the code, and uh, yeah, upload it, and so on. Uh, now we are in the tournament phase, and yeah, you can modify the code. So the game itself uh, is called Snake Pit. Uh, it's a game originally written by Kirill uh, as a tutorial for Async IO, and Kirill is also here. So I don't know if you, Kirill, can if you want to say something. Uh, hello. So, uh, originally this uh, Snake game was written as an example of online multiplayer game which utilizes a SyncIO library. Uh, have anyone used the library here? Uh, okay, so it's a library for writing, written um, asynchronous uh, code in uh, Python without using callbacks. So you are writing straightforward code and it uh, uh, runs like if it was uh, running several threads, but you are writing in straightforward. And it's very convenient. I suggest to check it out. The links are in the GitHub repository <coughs> in the comments uh, section there. Uh, also, yeah, uh, why I have chosen the snake game? Well, obviously, obviously because the Python is a snake, yeah? And uh, also it has like, uh, for me it's uh, really important because it was like the first, I think the first game I played in my life and uh, I was small and computers were big. I remember like I was at my father's working place and there was, uh, computers which occupied the whole room, uh, like the one that is standing in the hall. Uh, I was playing the snake on the terminal, you know, little green screen uh, right there, and uh, it uh, made some, uh, so much impression of me when I was uh, a kid, so I think it somehow affected that I became a software developer and uh, chosen Python <laughs> as a language. So I want to say thanks to organizers for the contest, uh, contest and uh, wish uh, good luck for uh, Finalists, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm not uh, participating myself because it would be not fair, probably. But uh, wish you all the luck, guys, and do not forget to share uh, the code of your robot snakes because it would be nice to take a look at it. Thank you. There's a, a question for the author. At any point, was part of the program, the snake program, written on a plane? <laughs> so you, you have snakes on, okay, forget it, sorry. <laughs> I, it was funny in my head, but it came out all wrong. So. Okay, uh, let me show you uh, how the participants uh, code uh, the snake. So yeah, they just uploaded uh, or wrote the code in this editor, and uh, yeah, uh, they just hit run. And uh, I now in a, I'm now in a admin mode, so I can choose any snake to run, but I will choose my robot snake. And basically, yeah, I created a random robot snake. Yeah, it just killed itself. <laughs> uh, that can happen. So, and uh, I, right now I'm, yeah, testing. So the participants could test their snake playing uh, against uh, themselves, the, the human. Uh, they couldn't play, they couldn't test it uh, by competing with, uh, fighting with other snakes. Uh, that's only in this tournament. Uh, so this is my snake, and obviously you can imagine uh, the the problem here. The 
participants uploaded their code and the code was uh, validated and run uh, in the cloud. And yeah, uh, you can imagine sec the security problems with that. So uh, we designed the game, we designed the management system for this in a way, maybe something like serverless or you know, because you run some code in, in, uh, in the cloud. And uh, yeah, we created, well, let me show you the code. <laughs> so we recreate this management app and there are backends and uh, you can run what I'm going to do right now. You can run the, the code uh, locally, which just creates processes, but you can also run in uh, a thing called the Nube Cloud, which is a, uh, cloud man management software based on SmartOS. And the, the thing I want to tell you that we leverage the SmartOS system, which is a Lumos distribution, and we leverage uh, features such as uh, projects, which are kind of like C groups. Uh, well, you have to use the operating system uh, features for you know, sandboxing the, the code. We use also ZFS and all other features of SmartOS. But Everything will be open sourced. Uh, also, the game itself is already uh, available uh, on GitHub. And with that, uh, let's go to the tournament. So first, let me show you the standings after the qualification round. So you can see the ASCII code snake uh, won the qualification round. His code is like uh, 32 kilobytes and he played uh, 362 games in the cloud, which means he ran, uh, uh, created or deployed containers through more than 300 containers. Uh, so that's interesting. And uh, also we had uh, 11 uh, participants qualified for the tournament phase and then the bracket was generated. It looks like this. And now we are in the final stage where we're gonna first play the uh, match uh, Artemis Zero versus Monte Carlo Trees. Uh, the, each matchup is played uh, uh, in a form, so uh, best of three, uh, which means that uh, we will play at least two games uh, and the player needs to win at least two games. So let's start. Should we go over the prizes? Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, so we have three illustrious prizes here. First place gets this 4K drone, which is really awesome. Really small, too. Uh, second place is another drone. It's a little bigger. It's still really cool. Uh, it's not 4K, though, but that's not first place. Third place is a personal drive, small little hard drive. And fourth place is a shrunken head from Indonesia. <laughs> So since the fourth place person already knows what place they got, they will be receiving that in the mail. So. <laughs> okay, uh, let's start with the game Artemis Zero versus Monte Carlo Trees. It's a game for the third place. And three, two, one. Here we go. All right. And we're going, and we're going. So pick, pick a snake that you want to win. The, uh, the illicit betting's already been done. So we had a, behind the building, we, we made bets in Bitcoin, but <laughs> I'm not supposed to tell you that. Okay, we're going here. All right, Monte Carlo's kind of stuck. All right. Our team has taken the majority of the map. Uh-oh. What's happening? Ooh. Oh, it's close. Oh. <laughs> so our team got the kill point so for killing another snake, which is 1,000 points. At this point, we have to let the game finish itself. No animals have been injured. It's just temporarily sleeping. So we, we take this very seriously, as you can tell. So surprisingly, no one submitted a username of Solid Snake. I was a little disappointed about that, but maybe next year. Oh. 
All right. This is like one of those psychological exams where they show you a abstract painting and <laughs> you say it looks like Richard Stallman. <laughs> So after the frame 1024, the game gets faster gradually. The speed, the frame per second increases. And the game itself is limited to one, uh, 8192 frames. <laughs> but yeah, our team is year one this game. We are also saving logs, so I have let the game finish because uh, the owner of the snake can look at the logs. Now, I wonder if it's possible to fill in every single bit on the screen and not terminate. <laughs> oh. So our team is here, obviously one. And, but we still have at least one game to go. Uh, so let's start the next Best game. Best out of three. Best out of three. So three, two, one, and fight. <laughs> Come on. And the uh, player that draws a map of a country gets extra points. <laughs> so. Now it looks like a reverse Italy. <laughs> so. Looks like Artemis Zero has won. speed up soon. If uh, this code existed when I was a kid, I wouldn't have pursued a life of crime. <laughs> so, telling you, people coming up nowadays are really at a benefit because of open source. Snaggy smart. 
Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> now, at any point, if we see the Madonna here, we have to call uh, the, the um, Catholic Embassy immediately. We have to let the Vatican know. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this means that, yeah, our team is zero. So he's on the third place. Um, should we assign, should we give the prizes? Any members from Artima Zero Art here? To claim your, you're probably right. Let's get a round of applause. Congratulations. And, yeah. All right, this so, is the finale. Now let's go for the finale and the ASCII code snake versus A. There you go. Right. So ASCII snake is otherwise known as Bitcoin market value snake. It's <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I thought. Ooh. Ooh, that's close. <laughs> The cool thing about this is the randomness factor, because you, you have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Bitcoin. Exactly. Looks like it's drawing New York City now. <laughs> it looks like the, the backdrop of Mike Tyson's punch out when he's on the bike. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, he's boxed himself in a corner here. <laughs> What's going to happen? Oh! But A is still winning uh, because he, <laughs> the snake has more points. Down to the wire. So the ASCII snake needs more points in order to win. Needs more Pokemons. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. Yeah. So the ASCII art snake is winning this game. We'll let him finish. The deciding game? Or maybe not. Let's see. Maybe not. You're keeping us in suspense. I got a lot of money riding on this. <laughs> so. Come on, Bitcoin. I mean, ASCII snake. <laughs> Go. It's getting close. What's going to happen? Well, hmm. 
<laughs> Down to the wire. A's on the lead. Oh, Ooh. A's dead. And you get a thousand points if you eat the other snake. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. But not a dead one. I think we have the winner here. Oh. Why? Okay. So the final standing. Um, congratulations to uh, Aski Snake. Aski Snake, congratulations. Where are you? And a round of applause for the A team as well. The so is there the member of, of the A team? Oh, it's, so you can. Get your prize. Thank you. And, and ask you, Snake, where are you? All right. Congratulations. OK, thank you, Will. Uh, Richard, oh, we are going to continue with the lightning talks. Okay, so uh, the, if you have subscribed for the Lightning Talks, please come closer. We will prepare the table. Thank you very much for uh, attending the programming contest. It was really fun and yeah, thank you.